So it's finished here at the UCD Bowl, UCD 1, Sligo 3 in the FAI Cup and I'm with the Sligo goalkeeper Ed McGinty. Ed, what were your thoughts on the game and happy to be in the quarterfinals? Yeah, very good. Um, we gave away a sloppy goal to start. Um, just a bit silly, a bit of lack of communication from me and Banks but we got on with it, do you know what I mean? You just, uh, then we got the goal and then the second goal and then when the third goal went and we started playing well in the second half so more like ourselves and then it was a comfortable win in the end. But UCD played some good football to be fair. Yeah, as a goalkeeper, how do you feel about behind closed doors? And for us in the stand, we can hear every single word and you're quite a loud guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. to be fair, yeah. you got to scream, man, but um, it's different with the fans, though. But I don't know, I mean, we've came back and we've done well. I'm not saying it's because of the fans, but do you know what I mean? It's, we we kind of miss the fans, to be fair. I kind of I get a buzz off that atmosphere and I think a lot of our players do. But it's different, to be fair, but um, no. It's a, it's a new thing, so we just have to adapt it. And of course, winning today means that the season is extended when the league finishes. The FA Cup goes into a three week yeah. block and stuff, so it'll, it'll yeah. keep things going after the league Brilliant. as well. Brilliant, yeah, that's what we want. That's, we, we all love playing football, we want to play football, so if we can make it an extra few weeks, that's brilliant. The league form since the break has been so good. You know, looking at the league table during lockdown, it wasn't nice reading for Sligo Rovers, no. but what do you put the, the, uptake and for the upturn in form down to since the break, including beating Dundalk last week? Well, to be fair, we knew, like, before lockdown, we just. Uh, just it was kind of a story of momentum, like it just went against us. I know it's, it's not like an excuse thing, but we just didn't get really going. We, we knew we were all quality players, we just didn't really get it going. And then after lockdown, we just came in, we just said, and then you get the first one against Derry, and then you get the second one, and a wee bit of belief, and then it just, they just keep going and building on that momentum. So we always knew we could, we could do it, and we always believed it, and we're always pushing forward, and we want to get up the table. So it's good, though, it's good. What age are you? 21. So I was looking through the other teams in the Premier, most of the keepers who are starting every week are senior keepers, late 20s, 30s. You're really young and you've been in Liam's team and you've done so well um, and it's not that common in the League of Ireland, in the Premier at least, for a keeper so young to be playing. How much have you enjoyed it and, and the, the confidence that Liam has in you and Luke McNicholas, who's also a very young goalkeeper yeah. at the club? Yeah, it's, it's, Sligo has been very good to me to be fair since I came over and I've, it's, it's, I've, I've always wanted, wanted to get the number one spot, and it took me a, took me a few years to get and learn the trade of goalkeeping. So I'm always, I'm still young. I mean, there's, I'm still, I'm nowhere near the f finished product. So I'm just trying to keep learning and look for each game, learn from games, try and improve things I've done well and see how you've done it. Things I've done badly, improve on it. So, nah, I trust like Liam. He's been brilliant to me, to be fair, and he's, it's nice to have that trust in the manager. But I've still got to do it week in week out, and I just want to keep performing well. What are you learning about being a senior keeper, and what would you say the main for you, the main? Uh, challenges have been playing in the senior league in the Premier. It's just um, it's just more a maturity. You know, you have to kind of think more and make your decisions more accurately. And but as well, keep pushing yourself as well. Keep chasing, have targets for yourself, and just keep pushing it. So that's it. Really. Yeah, I worked with Liam Pats for a few years, and his phrase is, which I'm sure it still is, is control, pass, move. Yeah. But he wants the goalkeeper to be able to do it. And I saw you speaking to your defenders about giving you the back passes on your left foot, for example. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How much work have you done on that and, and you know, Liam wanting you as the goalkeeper to be able to start attacks but also be able to play more direct and play behind him if needs be? Yeah, we do that a lot to be fair. We want, we want to have a variation in our games. We don't want to just be able to lump it up and play off the wingers and the pace. We want to have a, a few things so we always practice on playing out. It was different today because you know, Kyle got injured and um, who else got injured? Some, who else got injured on the right? Was it? Uh, Timu was it? T Did he go off? I think he was still on but you know, it's, when they come on you just have to keep telling yeah, them. Just, yeah. just, Get on my left because of foreign boys and that. Like no, it wasn't Timu, it was a sub that came on. Yeah, was it, was it right back? I don't even know who went it off. It was right? Sigatus, wasn't it? And then Darren Newman went, went right back. Kyle. Yeah, and Darren went right back. Yeah, 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 that was it. Yeah, so no, I'm just in the rear, just about like I trust my right foot in that, but yeah. you always prefer your good foot, like so. Um, yeah, just keep, keeping in the rear in that, yeah. So Irish 21, you link up with them in Belfast tomorrow, I think? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. So. What's the thoughts on that? Your first call up to the squad? Yeah, yeah, it's really nice, to be fair. It's, it's um, I'm just kind of happy to be there. I'm just going to go in with this same mindset, just try to learn something, just really push myself and try to do well. Yeah, it shows that people playing well in the league will be recognised. I think there's seven or eight League of Ireland players in the yeah, squad. And because Jim Crawford hasn't been able to go to the UK because of the virus, he's been at a lot of games and he, yeah. he clearly likes what he sees in you. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. I've got um, just got to keep playing well and just try and improve every day and just that's it and just hopefully go here, play well. But it's good that all the League Island players are in, some talent in the League Island. It's good to see them getting the squad and that. Do you know Keevan Keller and Gavin Bazoon? Have you been in with them before? No, never met them, no, but obviously very good keepers. So, Yeah, I'm sure that'll be nice for you to go in and, and train and compete with you know two top keepers who are doing well and all in, around a similar age group, although I think Gav's a couple of years younger, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, no, that's it. It's just about goalkeeping. Like I, I'm in every day and I'm learning off Lucky. He's got things in his game that I want to pick up and there's other keepers that I watch and I want to pick up things. It's all about learning, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not the finished project yet, so these boys are training with top-class keepers, so I'm going to look and try to learn off them. 
just try to see how they act, how, how they act mentally in that. So it'll be a good learning curve for me, but I'm going to push myself in there as well. Lastly, just on the training thing, I haven't spoken to a goalkeeper yet since lockdown, and you see the outfield players, even the lads there, are doing their runs after the match, and outfield players through lockdown were able to run. I'm sure you ran as well. Yep. Were you able to do any goalkeeper work in the garden with your dad, your missus, your dog, um, or anything, or was it all I've just got, trying to keep fit? I've got two older brothers, to be fair, yeah. so they, we, um, and, and Bally Shannon, they actually, the, 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 the Astro Tough pitch was where they had the COVID centre, so we went up one day and we said, yeah, mate, can we kick a ball about? He's like, nah. So I got nah. So we went to some park and that kicked a ball about a few saves and that. But I didn't do too much, but I kept fit running in that and on the country road, so that was good anyway. It was nice to be with the family in that. And lastly, is goalkeeping training more difficult than outfielders or not? This is the key debate. Go- goalkeepers debate. always claim it's worse. Well, to be fair, I reckon I could be a decent striker, you know. <laughs> so, um, but I don't reckon I don't reckon like Ronan Coughlin could be a decent keeper. So, <laughs> take it that way. Well, no, keeper keeper training is different. It's more short, sharp stuff. And but see when I see some of the runs the boys do, man, I'm just going. Thank God, I'm not involved in that. To be fair. Evan Getty, thanks a million for your time. Good luck with the 21s. No worries. Thanks very much, Jamie. Thank you.